And guys, in this optional video, I'm going to show you another way of finding the midpoint between two coordinates without using the graph and without using the midpoint formula. Uh, some students do like this, some students don't. So I just want to make sure, like I said, like it's written about the video. I want to show different possible ways because who knows? One of you guys might like this better. It's basically using your change in y over change in x, your rise over your run, but without the graph. The first thing that we're going to do over here is we'll just go ahead and start with our x coordinates as x is our first coordinate. We have to decide when we go from 0 to negative 4, what are we doing? Well, we'll get from 0 to negative 4, look at a number line, we are going to be subtracting 4. Okay? Then we come over here to our y's. We say, how do we get from a 2 to an 8? We find out, well, we have to add 6. Now, these two numbers are going to be important here in a moment. What we need to realize is that your midpoint, we can kind of abbreviate like this, your midpoint is halfway between your two endpoints, right? So what that means is these distances, we need to take half of that negative 4 and positive 6. So what this looks like here, we're going to take 1 half of negative 4 and we're going to come out with 8 and negative 2. We're going to take 1 half of that 6 and we're going to come out with a positive 3. What this means is negative 2 and positive 3 are not the coordinates of your midpoint. You are not done. This is half the distance between your first x-coordinate and y-coordinate and your second x and y-coordinate. So, again, this is not your new set of coordinates. What you have to do now is you have to take this distance from your original x, and so instead of going negative 4, halfway would be negative 2. So a 0 minus a negative 2, put m for midpoint, it's going to wind up being a negative 2. That is your new x coordinate. Then we take our positive 3 and our y, which means add 3. So that's halfway. So if the total distance is 6, we only want to go halfway of 3. So we're only going to add 3, and we wind up with 5. So your official answer for the coordinates of your midpoint is going to be that negative 2, positive 5. It's a few steps. Some people are going to find this easier. Some are not going to find this easier. You've been given several ways. Uh, you choose whichever one is best for you and whichever one is easiest for you.